Welcome to the second part in the gain alt trading strategy. As we go through these markets, see uh, how they end up working, and then when we're done, put it through the spreadsheet and talk more about the strategy. I'll try to do this between 30 and 40 minutes, although I can't guarantee time because I'm doing this. I don't, I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm just guessing that's how long it will go, but I'm going to go through it. We had these five buy orders come in in the first part, and that's how I concluded the video. That's what we entered after selling a whole bunch at 26.22 because the portfolio stack just went so much higher. Buy, 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 all the five different buy orders. So put five more buy orders in, but not at the same type of levels from before because you would still have buy orders down below here at the same level we were doing before but they're never going to hit. So there's no need for me to put them in. I mean, I can literally just go like this and go like that, knowing that I'm not going to need them. But they'd be, you would probably have seven, eight buy orders at this time. These five and then two to three more, just fun little ones to have because how fun was it to have this gain? So let's continue on through. The cradles will look much nicer as we go through. I've moved it to a single hour time frame as well. As after all, if I'm playing for 15% moves, then it would probably, and there we go, there's a buy. And we're going to see that in a bit, but this is a 26.58 for now. However, we could just say hypothetically that it was 8 o'clock, you weren't home, and let's uh, finish it off from here. This goes up to 3,200, so the question, or let's get the exact number so I can... This goes up to 3240. Would you have a sale above 2658 question mark? And the answer is yes. Sell two comes in at 3189. That means the next sell order would come in at 3668 for the sale near the 31 from the 3189. The 3189 buyback for 15% reduction comes in at 27.10 and the sell from before that, the buyback for that is in at 23.39. These lines will stay until they are bought, meaning I will not delete them. We'll see how the market moves for the next play. And it's going up, do we hit the sell? No. And then we have a few more periods go by, many more really. Maybe I should have taken the four hour, but you know what? There we go, so there's a buy. The new order is placed in at 31.17 and sold. Buy order has been placed. New sell order is in at 35.85 and it goes up a bit, but you know what? Just let the market do what it does. That's what I do. Yep, it almost got there, but not quite. When it went to 35 there, now down to 30. Did that line hit? Nope, but close. That's the volume line. That doesn't even count. Look at all these days that go by and... 6 o'clock in the morning. Very reasonable to say that you weren't up at that time. Either way, it doesn't matter because what would happen is you would buy here. Well, technically, you put more buy orders in. No, you wouldn't. It wouldn't matter. And of course, this 2033 level down below doesn't hit because the low is 2051 harsh reality but you know what like i was saying sometimes you get lucky and sometimes not so much but two orders still got filled now the buy order for 2315 comes in at 2662 not quite there you technically could take the 2630, so be it, it's close enough. Most likely, it will come in the next day. So what I'll do is I'm going to go through one period, see if the 2660 gets in, that would be the sale, and then put the buy order down below and then raise this for the new sell order. And the high here is obviously higher than 2660, so that would go through. Therefore, the new buy order is in at 2340, barely above where it was before, and a sell order a little over 3000. 
And we'll wait many periods. Close to a buy there. Looking closer, but not quite. And it missed, which means opportunity. Well, that wouldn't have been a sell at that percentage anyway, but there's your uh, acquisition of the buy. Sell order has been moved up to 2691. Which it will hit next because I already, it's a spoiler. Because I know the next buy order doesn't hit. And there we go. One, one of those days. So the price action goes up to a high of uh, 3,000. And that's only good enough for one sell order because the next one after that sell two was a little over 3,000. 